How many people are looking for megastructures now? Well, the main groups looking for megastructures are, again, Jason Wright at Penn State and collaborators. The way they're looking for it, though, is for infrared light. Because, you know, the second law of thermodynamics says, look, if you capture all of this starlight, you're going to warm up the, you know, your thing's going to warm up and emit in infrared. It's going to be waste heat, waste heat and waste light Mm -hmm. from this. That feels like a louder clearer yeah. way to detect right. it. Right. And that's actually, you know, Dyson, that's actually why Dyson proposed it. He wasn't really proposing it because like he was saying, this is what civilizations are going to do. He proposed it because he was like, oh, we want to start looking for alien civilizations. Here's something that would have a detectable signature. Um, so uh, Jason and company have done, you know, pretty good searches. And recently they, they made news because, you know, they were able to eliminate a lot of places. No, these are not Dyson spheres, but they did have a couple that were like anomalous enough that they're like, well, this is kind of what it would look like. It's not a detection. And they were saying, they would never say it's a detection, but they were like, they were not non-detections. They're potential candidates. Potential candidates, yeah. Love it. We have megastructure candidates. <laughs> that's inspiring. What other megastructures do you think that could be? I mean, that so that's, Dyson Sphere is about capturing the energy of a star. Yeah. Or there could be other. Well, of- there's uh, something called the Clark Belt, right? So we have a bunch of satellites that are in geosynchronous orbit. Mm-hmm. Nothing naturally is going to end up in geosynchronous orbit, Mm -hmm. right? Geosynchronous orbit is one particular orbit that's really useful if you want to beam things straight down or if you want to put a space elevator up, right? Mm -hmm. Um, So uh, there's this idea that if, you know, a civilization becomes, uh, you know, advanced enough that it's really using geosynchronous orbit, that you actually get a belt, something that would actually be detectable from a distance via a transit. Uh, There's been a couple papers written about the possibility of these Clark belts, densely occupied Clark belts mm-hmm. being a, a mega structure. It's not as mega as a Dyson swarm, but it's, you know, kind of planetary scale. You think it's detectable, Clark belt? It could be. I mean, like in our list of techno signatures, it would be down there, but it would be, again, if you had an advanced enough civilization that did enough of this, it would certainly, you'd, you'd have a Clark yeah. belt. And the question is whether or not it's detectable. Yeah, probably Dyson sphere is the, that's the more exciting. That's the go-to too. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah.